my parents, um, my mother especially, was a bridge builder when it came to conversation. And I think she learned her lesson through three older sisters, but um, I think a lot of times parents get upset because their children don't talk to them, usually about subjects that are really difficult to talk about. And I just think it's weird to presume that a child would be the one to make the first move. You know, I mean, I remember, oh, a lot of stories, you know, I, I remember being like seventh grade, my mother talking to me about different friends of mine that were starting to smoke pot in a very un, um, aggressive way. She was talking to me about it. Um, and it led to a great discussion. And she didn't come down hard on me, and as the situation turned out, I chose not to go with that group. Um, when I was in college one time, I was really sick. I was getting ready to go on an overseas trip. And um, my mother very gently asked me if I were pregnant. And of course, my first response was, you know, you don't trust me, and, and I can't believe you'd even bring this up. But I wasn't pregnant, and it would have been a miracle had I been. <laughs> But I thought about it later, after she was gone and after I'd blown up at her, I thought, you know, she risked offending me. What if that then? You know, what if I was like lying awake at night, terrified because of the kind of family I was reared in, the moral fiber of what I was raised to believe was right, you know, and, you know, and, and she just kind of reached through all that and said, hey, are you okay? Try once more Baby, that's what love 